What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Today we're making chopped cheese. That's right, chopped cheese straight out of Brooklyn, New York City. Uh, I've been to New York several times, but I've never actually had a chopped cheese from New York. So I am looking forward to making this. And the next time I go back, I'm definitely going to have an authentic chopped cheese to kind of see if I, if I did it right. So um, very simple ingredients. We'll get right to it in a second. But first off, I want to give a shout out to my boy Ronaldo over at Miami Fade Masters for hooking me up with this fresh dew. If you guys want a fresh cut like this, go check out Ronaldo, Miami Fade Masters, and Hialeah. They will treat you right. So let's get right to the ingredients. We're going to start off with some ground beef. I got 70 30 here. You can use 80 20. I've never actually used 70 30, but I figure a little more fat is probably going to make it taste better. <laughs> we will see. We're going to go with some American cheese. And then we're gonna we're gonna cook up some onions and then our toppings are gonna be some sliced tomatoes some shredded lettuce and it's all gonna go on these kaiser rolls you can use kaiser rolls you can use hoagie rolls you can use pretty much any kind of bread you can get your hands on this is what i had my hands on so i'm going with that and we're gonna finish it off with some mayo some ketchup and some hot sauce so that's how i'm going for it and i am looking forward to it. this is right in my wheelhouse so what we do here is we try to simplify the cooking process, make it easy and fun. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. Everybody, let's get cooking. So full disclosure, I did not use the burgers that I showed in the intro. I opened them up and they did not smell good. If you open up something and it doesn't smell good, do not eat it, bottom line. So I went and bought these from Publix just now. These are fresh. Um, these are 80-20 ground chuck. I seasoned them with um, salt, pepper, garlic on both sides, and I formed them into these patties. It does not have to be perfect. We're gonna end up chopping them up anyway, but you want to get that crust on the outside, so you definitely wanna form the patties. But before that, we wanna definitely get these onions going. So this is one half of an onion. I have got one pound of meat. You definitely want to hit them with some salt, pepper, garlic or salt and pepper or just salt, whatever you like. Just mix them around. We don't really want to caramelize these, or at least I don't. You can do whatever you like, <laughs> but I don't want to caramelize these. I just want to kind of like give them a, a little bit of a head start. So these are really cool. I bought these on Amazon. I will post a link above as well as in the description below. Uh, I love these things. They're, they're, they're super cheap and they've worked great so far. They've held up and I, I love them. They're so much easier than, than this. The long spatulas are great for certain things, but for this kind of stuff, I prefer these for sure. All right, so while these are cooking, I am going to put these buns, which are beautiful, these Kaiser rolls, down, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and toast these up as well. I'm dry toasting these. I don't really want this sandwich to be like super wet, at least the bread part of it. So I'm just kind of like pushing down. I know, I'm using my hand. You can use this as well, probably better. And even though this side is off, it is hot because I have this on pretty, pretty high heat. So actually these are pretty much where I want them to be. So they're right now at this point, they are what they call translucent, just like that. That's it. That's really all we're looking for. So I'm going to move these. Actually, I'm gonna put them to the front and to the side over here. Like that. They will stay nice and hot right there for future use. In the meantime, these rolls are getting nice and crispy. And want them a little crispier than that. So we're gonna go ahead and put down our burgers. There we 
go, burgers down. All right, let's check on these buns. Look at that, they are looking good. Oh, perfect. Not too crispy, but definitely crispy on the outside. I'm gonna give them a little bit longer because I want that crunch on the outside, but nice and soft on the inside. I just cranked up the middle burner again. That's why I moved these buns over. Yeah. So, these are looking good. I like the way those are looking. Not quite there yet. So we'll give those a little bit more time. I'll go ahead and move these over. So since I have the left side a little bit warmer, that way they'll cook more evenly. All right, let's check our buns. Oh, look at that. That is perfect. Looking good. Tops are done. Ow, hot, hot. Perfect, perfect. These are coming off. Hot. Now we're talking. Look at that. Look at that crust, perfect. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Yeah, we are ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread these, move these over a little bit to the center. I turned down the heat a little bit, like a medium. And we're just going to start chopping these up. I'm not doing giant chops. I'm just kind of doing, I'm sorry, I'm not doing fine chops. I'm doing kind of like medium chops. Kind of like this. Both directions. And you can see that pink is already gone pretty much in the middle, so there's no need to wait. Once you get it to the desired consistency of chopness, if that's the word. <laughs> We're gonna add the onions, which I think we are good right here. So onions come on over. And we're gonna incorporate those onions in there. Those look delicious. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit more because this feels really hot. But it looks awesome. All right, I'm gonna turn it down just a tad to like a medium low. And then we're gonna add our cheese. I like to add the cheese at the end. If you add it too early, guess what? The cheese kind of gets disintegrated and you won't, you won't even notice that there's cheese in there. So we're gonna add the cheese in now. We're gonna chop that cheese in. It is chopped cheese. I see people doing it with the cheese laying on top. I'm like, that's not chopped cheese, that's chopped meat with cheese on top. I like to incorporate the cheese, so. Four slices of cheese, four quarter pounders. Sounds like four cheeseburgers. I think that's gonna work out just nicely. That way when it's melted, you can kind of like get it all mixed together evenly. Look at that, oh my goodness. All right, right here I am going to cut 
the heat because I don't want it to, like I said, disintegrate that cheese. So right now, heat is off. I will give you a quick close-up of kind of what it looks like because it looks delicious. Wait, I don't want to spill it all. There you go. How's that look? Yeah. So to build, I am going to put some mayonnaise, some ketchup, and on mine, I'm going to put hot sauce. Mix. Mrs. Big Cat does not like hot sauce, so you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So, all right, we're gonna start off with some mayo. That's right, mayo, mayo. Big Cat loves the mayo. I'm just gonna tell you right now. We're gonna add a little ketchup. Just like so. And we're gonna add a little bit of Tabasco Normally I would put this in the meat, but again, I don't want to, you know, have everybody eating hot. So I'll just throw it on my own. Now I'm going to add my chopped cheese. Oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Are you kidding me? I'm about to put that in my mouth. Yes. You know that. Yes. And then I'm going to add some lettuce. Like so. And of course, a big old slice of tomato. Actually, two. Like that. Man, look at that. Bro, that looks ridiculous. And then that's our, <laughs> that's the final product. Woo-wee! <laughs> All right, the chopped cheese looks absolutely ridiculous. It smells ridiculous. Look at this. I mean, I'll, I'll bring it up for a close-up just so you guys can see. Look at that. I mean, come on. It's chopped up cheeseburgers with cheese <laughs> and tomatoes and lettuce and mayonnaise and ketchup it is it looks outstanding okay time to give it a shot let's do it let me get my bearings here oh it's nice and crispy on the outside the the toasted bread see the toasted bread look at that that looks so good here we go Ready? Cheers. Mmm. 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 That tastes amazing. You see it falling apart. Let me tell you, I love every ingredient on the chopped cheese. That's probably why I was like, I need to make this because mm, this is comfort food at its best. One more bite. Mm. The bun is nice and crispy on the outside, but soft on the inside. All the flavors work well together. This is an outstanding sandwich. I cannot wait to go to New York again. I'm sure I can find them everywhere. But I will find one of these for sure in a bodega and I will eat it. And I'll let you know how it was. Everybody, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. And we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat.